Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here in Lower Manhattan. We're this is we're outside the building where it's said that President, former President Trump, is going to be indicted today, as early as today. But we've just covered a proceeding inside the, the Southern District Courthouse, right down the street over there, and it involved Yvette Wang. She's the chief of staff to Guo Wenghui, uh, who's in detention for a billion-dollar fraud. Miss Wang was processed under a separate case number and was offered release on five million-dollar bond, but. Uh, she has to find co-signers, and the government, it turns out, has turned down, as we predicted, turned down the co-signers. The lawyer for Ms. Wang said that this is just an attempt to make her the government's friend, and intriguingly, they said beyond a Chicago-based lawyer and an IT professional who's not Chinese, one of the proposed suretors is an individual who offered up a $2.5 million house, but they said who the government is a very well-known individual who the government doesn't like. Inner City Press, I'm willing to say, well, I asked on the way out the lawyer for, uh, for Yvette Wang uh, to confirm or deny that it's Steve Bannon, and he said, quote, we're not going to answer. But from all, from all accounts, and the way the government described it as well, they said that they didn't provide any information and that the individual was deeply involved in Mr. Guo's frauds. They also said that, the other, that those who didn't have as much money were victims. So it's ironic that a victim in a case described by the government would also be a co-signer, but they're, they're, the lawyer for Wang is calling it a movement, and I'd say the government is sort of portraying it almost as a cult in the sense that those victimized are still willing to sign surety and be put on the hook for $5 million if Ms. Wang were to run. Ms. Wang was not released. We're going to be writing a story on Inner City Press. We are covering this as a follow-up, to the, an exclusive follow-up to an exclusive story of her first presentment. Yvette Wang, the chief of staff of Mr. Guo, perhaps the key to the case, innercitypress.com.